Hello everyone, welcome back to Manual Tutorials. Today we will be seeing a doubt asked by one of our students in the comment section. This is a sketch the signal example and a ramp type of signal. If you have not subscribed to Manual Tutorials yet, do subscribe and like and share this channel with your friends. If you also have any doubts related to signals and systems or electronics or computer science engineering subjects, please let us know in the comments and we will try to help you with that. So let's start. Here we have four parts to our question and all are ramp signals. So first it's a simple ramp, then we have a shifted, then again a shifted and again a shifted version. So this is not plus, so it is minus based on our confirmation with the student. Let's draw the first part. First part is R of T. R of T is a simple ramp signal which starts from 0 and goes up to infinity and has amplitude of T at every point in T. So at T equal to 0, amplitude is 0. At T equal to 1, amplitude is 1. T equal to 2, amplitude is 2 and so on. Which is a 45 degree line across the positive x axis and y axis. And next is R of T minus 1. So this ramp we are going to shift it to the right because it's a delayed version of the ramp by how much by 1. So our signal which is starting from 0 will now start from 1 with the same amplitudes only shifted version and what we need to do is we have to subtract the second signal from the first. When you subtract second from the first as seen in previous videos from 0 to 1 you can see first signal's amplitude is changing from 0 to 1 but second signal's amplitude is 0 so you can draw first signal's shape as it is for a resultant. This is 1 minus 2 that is what I have drawn here. At t equal to 2 first signal's amplitude is 2 second signal's amplitude is 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1. At 3, first signal's amplitude is 3, second signal's amplitude is 2, so 3 minus 2 is 1. Again, at 4, first signal's amplitude is 4, second signal's amplitude is 3, so 4 minus 3 is 1. So this is going to continue from uh, until infinity. So from 0 to 1, we have a change from 0 to 1, which is a angular signal. But from 1 to infinity, it's going to be 1 continuously. So that is what I have drawn here. Now next part of our signal is again a ramp, a delayed version but this is going to start from 3. So this is our R of T minus 3. So here amplitudes are again going to be re remain same like our original ramp at, but our signal is going to start, uh, start from 3. So at 3 our signal amplitude is going to be 0. At 4 signal's amplitude is going to be 1 at 5 it will be 2 and so on. Now what we have to do is subtract this signal from this subtracted version of the signal that we have. Again from 0 to 3 second signal has 0 amplitude. So you can draw first signal shape as it is. So it will be a change from 0 to 1 then a constant DC until 3. And at 3 or from 3 to 4 what you can see is first signal's amplitude is 1 continuously but second signal's amplitude is changing from 0 to 1. So what is going to happen when you subtract this if you say the center point it's going to be 0. 0.5 so 1 minus 0. 0.5 is 0. 0.5 so at 3.5 our amplitude will be 0. 0.5 at 4 first signal amplitude is 1 second signal's amplitude is also 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 so when you join these three three points it's going to be a decrease from 1 to 0 from 3 to 4 and at 5 if you see first signal's amplitude is 1 second signal's amplitude is 2 so 1 minus 2 is minus 1 that is what I have plotted here similarly at 6 first signal's amplitude is 1 second signal's amplitude is 3 so 1 minus 3 is minus 2 that is what is put over here and this behavior is going to continue up till infinity so this is our 1 minus 2 minus 3 now 
the final part of our signal which is r of t plus 4 r of t plus 4 is similar to this but the signal is going to start from 4 so it's going to be this kind of a signal and this signal you need to add with the signal that we got by subtracting these three signals so when you add both if you see at 4 both signals amplitude is 0 at 5 first signals amplitude is minus 1 second signals amplitude is plus 1 at 6 first signals amplitude is minus 2 second signals amplitude is plus 2 and when you add both of these it's going to get cancelled or nullified and the resultant value of the signal is going to be 0 at each of the points until plus infinity. So from 4 to infinity our value is going to be 0. So our resultant signal if you see from 0 to 4 it is 0 for the second signal. So you draw the first signal shape as it is and from 4 to infinity it is 0. So this is our expected x of t which is starting from 0 to 4 and is a signal which is start which is changing from 0 to 1 from 0 to 1 then a constant dc from 1 to 3 and from 3 to 4 it is going to change from 1 to 0 so hope you understood this if you have any doubt related to this video or any other concept in signals and systems or electronics or computer science engineering please let us know in the comments and we'll try to help you Please like, share and subscribe to Manual Tutorials for more. Thank you for watching.